What is good guys? Welcome back to another trailer reaction review. Today we're jumping in to the Assassin's Creed Shadows. That's the official title for the Assassin Assassin's Creed Red Game. This is going to be the official world premiere trailer. We also got other stuff to dig in that I'm going to go through in a second. That's going to be after the review portion of this video. I'm going to just put it all out together as one huge like big video rather than cut it up into multiple different stuff. Just to be transparent with you guys, I am part of the Ubisoft Creators program. So yes, they did send me a whole bunch of stuff regarding Assassin's Creed Shadows, but none of it is money. None of it is actually physical. It's all digital items as far as like art and trailers and stuff like that which I believe I'm able to talk about, <laughs> but we're going to talk about it in this video regardless, but let's jump in and check out the official trailer first. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. Let's put it on 4K. Is it on 4K? I think it is. It says auto, but I'll put it on 4K. All right. We ready to go? Are we ready to go? I think we're ready. Let's go. Is it loud? It's loud. My man, run! Or not. <laughs> Fight! Who are you? Who do you serve? No one. Or maybe you do serve someone. All I have ever known in my life. Oh. I will end. You be self original. Let's go. Our customs. Uh huh. My family. Burns in the name of unification. Oh shit. Oh damn. Come on. There we go. Nice. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. We're shorty. Get up, mama. Get up, mama. Oh damn. Mama, you were fighting somebody. Oh wow! You okay. steal a frog in a well, who knows nothing of the sea. The ocean okay. is filled with new ships, but they all come from the same river. Oh my Greed. God! Let's go! Let's go! I'm loving his hair. Oh, okay. They got guns too. Vengeance. All right. Let's go. Oof. 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 <laughs> oh my god. Okay. All right. All right. This looks fire. That was fire. Will you continue down that river? Oh my god. Or choose another path beyond what we see. Oh. And we must look for it together. Ooh. Okay. Nice. We must learn to trust. Rebuild. Okay. And follow the blade. Yep. <laughs> Let's go. Oh shit, this is fire. Uh-huh. Ooh, you hit it? Ooh. Oh my god. Ooh. Let's go. Nice. I said, who do you sub? Oh. Yep. We are the shadows. Oh. That served the light. Yep. Yo, we oh, nice. Oh! Let's fucking go! <laughs> that was fire November 15th! Let's go! Oh meat! What is this? This is 
Oh, we get. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Guys, guys. Trailer nine out of ten. Are you joking? Are you joking? Look at this, yo. Oh god, I I, I already clicked over to the next shit. God damn. The trailer, to me, it was hitting on all cylinders with the music, the environment, the 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 atmosphere of the trailer itself. Action scenes showing us what it, I guess, it was going to feel like to play the game. I don't think we've seen actual gameplay. I, maybe stuff was in engine. And I got to dig around the, the stuff they sent me to see if, you know, that's true or not, whatever the case may be. But everything looks incredible. And then also... I think the only thing missing was like a true reason. Like, who's the the bad guy? I didn't see no big bad that we were after. The big bad that I thought we were gonna be the the bad guy ended up being someone that it looks like the protagonist. I thought is the girl, the main one. It's it's almost like they're they're working together. So maybe we will be playing as both. I'm not sure yet. But again, we got who are. Noe and Sa Su Suzuki? Yasuki? Could be butchering these names. Butchering these names. But we're going to continue again. I give it a 9 out of 10. Let me know what you would give it in the comment section below. But we are going to continue with, the, I guess, another trailer. <laughs> with our dual protagonist, we have two fantasies. The samurai and the shinobi. We want oh. the player to experience Okay, it. okay, okay. This is uh, like a de developer deep dive. Okay, okay. And we got the game director here. Both, and we cannot squeeze both fantasies into one character because uh, samurai and shinobi came from a different social class. They have different lives, so we cannot really uh, mix uh, them together. The oh, samurai in Shinobi. Okay, that makes sense. We got the samurai a warrior, and then we got okay. Did a right. really exciting opportunity for the narrative team. Narrative we it okay. in the same way that uh, so much of the work is done in Assassin's Creed, which is really in terms of research and history first. Uh, Not that's what I love. A lot is known. That's what about I love him, about Assassin's Creed. But what we Creed. did know, or we do know, is that he arrived in Japan in 1579, right when our game starts. Okay. And that he had relationships with some of the most interesting people in our setting, like Oda Nobunaga, the Portuguese, mm -hmm. and Jesuits, which made it very sort of so, tantalizing and enticing from a narrative perspective to come in and, and start weaving these facts with story in between. Okay, so he's based on the about the character. The more it's based he, on he a, was inspiring for us, he's on a, a foreigner guy. discovering Japan, and we, yep. we thought it's the perfect fit because he's discovering Japan, and you are discovering Japan also. And on the flip side, we have Nawe, who comes uh, from the province of Iga, which is a, a okay. remote uh, mountainous area, fiercely independent, uh, known as the birthplace of Shinobi. So. They're okay. very contrasting perspectives that really expose a lot of different sides uh, and facets of the era. That's when no, Oda came, no. uh, he completely destroyed Iga. You have Yasuke and Oda that coming to destroy the Shinobi. So it can kind of create this, this interesting tension between two characters. Mm -hmm. We were able to connect her to uh, the province of Iga and the legendary Igan Shinobi historical figure, Fujibayashi Nagato, who's her, who's her father in oh, the game. Okay. So we understand why she is, has the skills that she has and the values that she learns from yep. her father in the people of Iga, which are valor, benevolence, and, and wisdom. Nice. And as a young person still at the start of the game, we get to see now we acquire even more of that wisdom as the story unfolds. And if you ask anybody, it's super clear that Samurai will be combat heavy and yep. Shinobi will be stealth heavy. Oh. To create this distinction right away, yep. Yasuke uh, can fight with all his advantage, uh, his stature, yep. like he's, he's a big guy, he can break door, he can fight multiple enemies, he can break armor. Compared to Naoe, like her character yep. and their, their outfit. True assassin. It's, it's really about being stealth, being on scene. Yep. She's the only one with the other <laughs> blade. So oh, clear that's nice. That's the, nice. The stealth and the combat. Okay. Even if they can do uh, a bit of both. They're a really great pair together because on one side, uh, we have now. I mean, I'm like. Very. I'm not. That's all I want to be. I just want to be her. <laughs> Let me be. 
I, I really hope, uh, I, I, I mean, again, with the narrative, they, they probably want to weave them both together, but I really hope we're able to choose most of the time who we want to be. I think I'm going to be leaning on Shorty. Intense and passionate and, and determined woman who is very set on her goals. She's kind of got her heart on her sleeve and she'll say what she feels in the heat of the moment. And this intensity uh, that she brings as a shinobi, but that she also brings to her relationship. And this balances very well with Yasuke, who is sort of a, a thoughtful level head to Naue's fiery passion. Mm -hmm. We really thought about somebody like Yasuke, historically, who was able to come to Japan and have the life that he did there to enter service for Oda Nobunaga and achieve all of the things that he did. Like, what kind of person would go through all of this? So our Yasuke is very uh, intelligent, thoughtful, and respectful of this culture that he encounters. And that makes him a very nice sort of counterpart to Nawe. He's yep. a bit mysterious Nawe. as well, and that's something... I gotta learn how to say the names. Nawe. the game progresses. Ooh. So that's Green Shadows. Is that it? Okay, November. Yep, and this is the World Premiere trailer. So this is the third video. This is Assassin's Creed Shadows Explained, Samurai Shinobi in Feudal Japan. Hello, this is Aki Milne, the Assistant Director of Cinematic Design on Assassin's Creed Shadows. Okay, I'm I, I Mo, got a double. Of Assassin's Creed yep. Shadows. Yeah. And today we're going to take a look at our reveal trailer uh, of Assassin's Creed Shadows. I bet. From the Let's beginning, go. we really wanted to try to create this atmosphere of danger. First, so. first off, this is dope. I I don't think I ever done a uh, uh, trailer reaction review where we got like the explanation from the developers, from the people who made the trailers, which is all, it's always dope to see. And a uh, uh, huge thank you again to um, Ubisoft for including me into this, but then also releasing this to the public so everybody could uh, get their hands on it and check it out. We're getting glimpses of our Shinobi protagonist, Nawe. Uh, as she chases down a target through the shadows. We want mm -hmm. it to feel as though she has complete control over her environment. She does. And a real homage to old ninja films where we just get like little glimpses of her in the background. Not really sure what we're seeing. And finally we get her incredible reveal here, cloaked no in shadows. Way. Naoi is from Iga. She is a farmer warrior, uh, daughter of Fujibayashi uh, Nagato. She is a capable person, let's say that. As we are going to learn in the trailer, she will be taking on a role uh, of protector. All I have ever known in my life. What we're looking at is the province of Iga, the homeland of uh, Naui. It's isolated a little bit in, in the mountains, and they were home of the shinobi. They come from here, or at least a portion of them come from here. And the interesting thing is, oh. once we traveled to Japan and we visited uh, this province, it came very clear Damn, that how must be, that world came together. Like, that, so that, that must be so dope to like do research on a game and you actually have to travel to the place, the setting of the game, and then learn about the culture. Again, this is why Assassin's Creed games are so dense with, again, just hidden gems and, and culture just packed into them because these guys actually go out there to experience it. It's not like they're just reading from a textbook or, you know, having a thought in their mind and recreating it. They're not. Nah, they, they went out there and lived it a little bit, which I, I, I love and I respect. So it, it's sort of isolated in the mountains, sort of kept to itself. It's a very good representation, in my opinion, of, of, of that place. Our land. Our customs, my family, burns in the name of unification. So what we're seeing here are the troops of Oda Nobunaga. In 1579, there was a first attack from uh, Oda Nobunaga's clan, and then in okay. uh, 1581, there was a second attack, a much more uh, violent one, where uh, Iga got crushed. And what we're seeing here is, is the Oda troops marching into uh, the province of Iga. Okay, crushing it. Damn. Bringing split screen into the trailer was part of our attempt at formulating an homage towards a lot of Japanese media and yeah. culture. And so we try to incorporate some of that style into the game as well. It's reflected in a lot of our cutscenes and cinematics. And we thought it'd be really cool to bring that on as early as possible. And so we, we push for it in the reveal trailer as well. It That's allows dope. us to kind of show off both protagonists at various points in their lives. Okay. And how maybe again both protagonists. When we have Yasuke, 
It turns around and says, You are still a frog in a well who knows nothing of the sea. It is a, a proverb Ooh, from Japan. For us, okay. it sort of resonates with both uh, their journey. As they open their eyes or know a little bit more, things are not necessarily as they seem. Uh, and, and that's sort of a driving force for them. That's what is going to unite Naoi and Yasuke. That's something that's bigger. The ocean's filled with new ships. So here we're in Sakai, a big port in Japan. Uh, the ships that okay. we are seeing are a uh, Portuguese ship. They are uh, a version of the black ships or a lot of the merchant ships that were uh, coming in and out of Japan at this point. Uh, a few came to Sakai, but Hold mostly on. in- I'm cold, guys. It's raining, I had the window open in the studio, but let's go. Nagasaki, but for uh, the sake of the trailer, it's happening in, in Sakai. Greed. The person we're seeing on screen is Oda Nobunaga. So he is known for being uh, <laughs> one of the three great unifiers of Japan. A, a very polarizing character. Yeah, I was going to say, he looks like a bad are. guy. <laughs> We're seeing Yasuke's first audience here with, with Oda Nobunaga. And one of the reasons why this meeting could even happen is due to Oda's deep relations with the Portuguese through trade, which resulted in him becoming quite a force to reckon with when it came to the use of Teppo. Mm -hmm. All this to say, Oda Nobunaga is an incredibly powerful figure at the time, mm -hmm. very important to our story as well. Okay. There are a lot of speculation about uh, Yasuke's arrival in Japan. The most common one is uh, that Yasuke came in a couple of years. I'm before, glad they didn't uh, give him Killmonger's hair. And he learned Japanese <laughs> quite quite fast, and he was very fluent into the the Japanese culture. And it impressed Oda. So his stature, of course, impressed Oda. He was seen as super big. His skin uh, color was one thing as well. That the reports on the Chronicle of Oda say that that was the first uh, African man that Oda had ever seen. Mm -hmm. Oda asked him to stay uh, with him, and this is what we know pretty much of the story of Yasuke. So there are a couple of elements that, that we will see also in the, the game Black that Samurai. are uh, historical reports of, of his presence. But then after that, uh, there's quite a bit of an interesting uh, what if uh, with him that, that will happen. Power. Uh, the initial volley, this is a concept that we had very early on, this really cool idea of the, the initial reveal of Yasuke emerging from the gun smoke. Mm -hmm. To us, that really ties him to Oda's battle style, and as probably one of the most important people to Oda in our game specifically. And what we're seeing here is a battle between the Oda clan and another rival clan, um, as a big part of the unification was taking down mm. some of these rival clans for territory. What we see is Yasuke cutting people down with a great deal of ease. These are yeah. all moves that are gonna be in the game. We okay. specifically made sure all the choreography shown in the trailer are all taken directly from gameplay itself. That's fire. Or choose another path. One of our big breakthroughs in this game is definitely this element of dynamic time, seasons, and weather. And we were kind of racking our brains with how to depict this in a, in a, in a trailer. Uh, and so one of the ways we thought about establishing their relationship was to kind of break the rules of time a lot. We're seeing them out of place a lot. They're, they're seeing each other, but that might not be literally the first time they meet or lock eyes. Okay. And what we're seeing here really is kind of a culmination of both of their journeys. Even oh, though Yasuke okay. has been on a journey as a sense. fighter for Oda Nobunaga, does he think that this is the right thing to do? Now he's confronted to uh, the destruction of the province of Iga. So sort of a tying two worlds together at this point. In particular, the shot of them in the open field to us is really this moment out of time. It's them speaking to each other on a level that might not oh, literally have ever happened. Okay. But it's really the moment that really brings them together. And just like a quick little note here for those eagle-eyed viewers, uh, you'll notice that the split screen is slightly different here, which was once again a deliberate decision we made. Okay. The other one has a bit more of a slant to it, maybe a bit more aggressive, especially if you're yeah. familiar with like anime or manga codes, yes. comic book codes. But here, bringing it, flattening it out a little bit, establishes that maybe the relationship like is different. A piece. I don't want to speak too much about that, but given oh, the time, okay. the unification is a really big deal. And I think the concept of unification can mean very different things to different people. Uh, and it definitely resonates differently for our two main characters. Okay. We must look for it together. Let's go. So what we're seeing here is that Naoi and Yasuke uh, do have allies in the world. Like every good mm -hmm. shinobi, she has access to a network of spies and people that can help her yep, and trade course. for information. And we're seeing here is somebody Guild giving assassins. her information on the whereabout of the person that she's looking for. In the game, you can switch between both characters Woo! as you please. 
Did you have a life when they're, they're not late? That is dope. That is dope. That is dope. That's exactly what I want to hear, bro. That is exactly what I want to hear. In the game, you can switch between you both characters. You can switch between both please. characters. Did you have a, a life when they're they're not played? So that you, when you switch back characters, you can see them do something different? That's cool. Most of our black box level designs allow for both play styles to work kind of perfectly. And you can choose the one that you prefer. If you want to go in That's and dope. just be uh, full of brawn, cut people down with Yasuke, you have that option. If you want to take mm -hmm. a sneakier option, well, you'll see what that looks like in a second. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> teasing us! Part. The wink. A big thing the that we wink. for in our trailer was to really humanize our protagonists. Real emotional stakes make them feel like people you could actually see yeah. in real life. Especially okay. given that Yasuke is based off a real person. We wanted to be authentic, at least somewhat, to, to a full uh, breadth of emotions that he could portray. And follow the blade. Yep. We developed quite a bit of um, new tools for Naoi and Stealth, and one of them is the grappling hook. Grappling and the grappling hook okay. allows you to climb over uh, walls that you cannot climb with uh, Yasuke or without the hook, uh, which opens different paths uh, for Naoi. And there's quite a bit of hook points in that's the game, gonna so be within insane. every layout that you're going to see. That's going to be insane, bro. Tra traversal in Assassin's Creed games, to me, are so important, and they done so well. So to think that with a grappling hook, bro, what what are we talking about? This is gonna be this game is gonna I'm be insane, come in bro. From a different uh, entry point, so it's an integral part of their stealth arsenal, as she can navigate much faster into the uh, open world. And that's one of the open big world. changes between uh, Yasuke and Naoe. One of the key okay. differences. I mean, is we knew it was gonna be to open world, but vertical approach. And a lot of our locations are big castles, big ten shoes with these giant walls, Ooh. and it offers her a whole new vantage point for a lot of uh, for a lot of these missions where Yasuke doesn't have necessarily the same opportunity. He got to go through doors. Now we can fight and <laughs> hold our own against a few enemies, but she's not Ooh. a big brawler like Yasuke is nope. to take on a horde of enemies, right? She is light armored and she's quick and she's agile. And that's definitely one of the key elements: uh, her her sheer speed. She's very very quick and extremely right. lethal. But as soon as she's seen, uh, the danger really rises for her. And she's got to get out of there as fast as possible. Nice. Boom. Is destruction in the game, Joe? <laughs> yeah. are, are some things breakable in our yeah, game? Yeah, shit say? is breakable in the game. Things Part of our dynamic breakable? world and the dynamism that we created for Japan. Uh, goes also in the low-level destruction. So the uh, the weapons that uh, we put a lot of little technological uh, breakthroughs uh, for our weapons, where you can destroy a large amount of uh, props in the game. You can see okay. them plow through uh, the suji doors. You can uh, okay. you know destroy a full market if you wanted with the kanabo. Obviously, the goal is still not to break everybody's <laughs> stuff, <laughs> but Yasuke can do it as well as uh, now we, uh, depending on the weapons they're using. That's right. That's dope. Yasuke's not the only one that can break through those shoji doors. Okay. Now he can assassinate people through them. Oh, all right. This is a weapon that Yasuke can carry around in the game. It's called the kanobu. Mm. It's a very heavy weapon that does yes. a lot of damage. It's kenobu. a little bit of a slower weapon compared to uh, katana, yeah. for example. But it is a weapon that brings a lot of destruction as Yasuke wields Ooh. it. And Yasuke is a strong man, so he is the perfect candidate to handle the kind of open game. It's like a bat with spikes. <gasps> we are the shadows. That serve the light. Mm -hmm. Ooh. The hidden blade has two functions, so it, it can come out as a regular hidden blade, like uh, for stabbing people. Yes. Now we can extrude a, a, the second portion, and flip it, so that she has a dual wield uh, using a smaller weapon Ooh. called a tanto and uh, her hidden blade at the same time. So that's, uh, that's nice. A very fast that is nice. Situation for most people that are fighting her at that time. And what Joe touched on is something that I know fans have been wanting for a long time to bring back hidden blade combat, like being able to just fight yes. with your hidden blade. And we brought that back with the Tonto style. It's very cool, very fast. Once again, very lethal in Naoi's hands. Let's go. Ooh. When it came to the name of the game, that was something I remember Joe talking about, making sure we had some sort of base into the original lore. And this line was okay. always something that really stuck out with you. We put it in the trailer as well as a, as a kind of 
punctuation, shadows. They are yeah. working in the shadows to serve the light. And that's, that's always been the callback we wanted to conjure with this. Paired with that is also our renewed emphasis on stealth in this game. There are a lot of new mechanics we've added. There are a lot of really interesting tools we've given Nawe. I think for fans of stealth, you're gonna be extremely pleased with some of the okay. mechanics we've added into the game. And on, a little bit on a meta level for both characters, Nawe being a shinobi, but coming from a place that is not, not necessarily poignant or, or just at the forefront of the conflict, but a little bit more uh, emerging back from the shadows, and it fits with, with her. And Yasuke as well, coming from a, a background that's outside of Japan. They are lurking in the shadows, yeah. but they are doing so to protect the land. This is a very interesting narrative that will flow towards something pretty positive for us uh, in the game and, and very satisfying in my opinion. That's gonna be sick, bro. This is gonna be sick. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> no Sassy problem. Street Shadows is out November 15th, 15th. And we cannot wait to show you more. I can't wait. I can't wait. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. All right, let's not make it any longer than it needs to be. Uh, like I said, uh, the trailer overall, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Let me know what you would give it in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I answer all questions. So let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day, talking Call of Duty, Fortnite, Pokemon, or whatever. I feel like dropping the vibes on and today it's Assassin's Creed Shadows. So let me know your thoughts on it in the comment section below. Also hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving these videos into recommending to other people who can enjoy these videos. Hit the subscribe button if you want to be up to date with Assassin's Creed Shadows. Thanks to Ubisoft. I am a creator with them. I just want to be truly clear. I was not paid <laughs> to give them a high score or anything. All my thoughts are my own. However, they did send me assets for everything you're seeing here today. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Daddy, gamer, Fred, and trash. You trash, Freddy? Your mama!